Welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's that time of year where we kind of start to get the winter, winter blues yes. and a uh, little cabin fever. So I've got a fun idea for you. Uh, it combines kind of being resourceful and then uh, gives you a, a way to kind of move some color around, which can be very helpful and therapeutic. And we can create some really great artwork out of just some things that we probably have left lying around our homes. Okay, so, so what are we creating We're focusing today? on today, um, this is OSB board. So it's Orient strand board and it's a product that is typically what? left over you see lots of this um, at construction sites if you have a renovation project and so forth and so is it like wood particles pressed it together is, it is and there's also there's MDF there's particle board but I really like this OSB because it has these um, really nice strong kind of fibers in there and it's an engineered product so it's basically all of these different strands and fibers of wood that are coated with this cocktail of red resin and then compressed into this wood product. Okay. So it's a very strong, very durable um, product, but it really gives you a lot of texture in your pieces. And just, this is what I find exciting, of course, because it gets thrown away and we can find beautiful uses for it. But if you were to go buy a four by eight sheet of it, yes. it costs 10 to $15. Okay. And you can get like 30, you know, tw uh, 12 inch by 12 inch. You can panels, cut that down into to use out of it exactly. So, so if you're like me and don't want to go searching and yeah, and, and in a lot of times, and you know what? Sometimes um, the home improvement stores they will have kind of odd lot stuff and pieces and that, and they'll cut them for you into some different sizes as well. They're very helpful about that. So if you don't have the ability to do that at home, they'll do some. They can make some of the cuts and for because you. Because what I've learned from this amazing lady, don't be afraid to go in and ask and be like, got any scraps? Uh, yeah, and because a lot of times they just get, you know, yeah. they just get tossed. tossed. So let's put them to, to better use. And again, it's a very um, economical product. Like I said, $10, $15, you can get a lot of different canvases to work with. Use those leftover pieces. And when you're cutting them down, I like this is, um, I typically work with the half inch thickness. Thickness. Is a nice um, thickness to use. And I'm sure you can see uh, with the cameras here, you're already given a, a great outline of texture and shapes to use. Yeah. So how are we using this to our benefit you to can be also, an even more creative person? Some of them even have some lettering and things on that. So you don't have to, you can sand, this will sand off okay. if you want to, but it's also nice to work these types of things into your designs okay. as well, okay? Um, and then what we're gonna do is you can use, this is a great product for you to use your house in the leftover wall paints on. Okay. And it's also, um, um, it's a great way to layer things up. So I'm going to go ahead and let you kind of paint on one of them that I have. All ready here to go? For, yep, go okay. ahead. And I've got some little, this is just an interior wall paint. You can use any of your um, little artist acrylics as well. Yeah, go ahead and kind of have some fun right with that. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to show how... Um, these are some pieces. These are just uh, panels that we've just got some background started on. And you can see the depth of color and how we when you start to put your background together you can really layer it up and I'll show you a little trick to kind of get this depth and really make those fibers and that they're going to really stand out. I was going to say are you wanting it to be thick so you really coat everything or are you wanting it depends. the different? It depends. You can do it any way. You can uh, prime this so mm -hmm. if you really wanted to have you know put a primer on there or a gesso on there first uh, you could also like you see how you have a little bit well, of a, and do a dry that brush are... and that's going to yep kind of keep that open that adds to the look so it's all and ent it's entirely up to you the other nice thing about working with this type of material is it's a great sample board so maybe you have some new paints some new products that you want to experiment on or maybe mm -hmm. you have something you're wanting to play around with on um, before you go to the walls or go to the main you know piece Absolutely. this is a great place to practice with that, that as that well idea. so put your paints on um, use uh, your acrylic they dry really quickly so you can kind of work through all of the different layers and steps in a short amount of time this one here, you'll see we have a little bit heavier coverage on it. Right. And then the one, see how, see the difference? The one that you've got, look at it, that really creates some nice texture and design. This one has a little bit more um, opaque look to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and have you take the key to kind of really giving it some depth and richness is then to now come back over this with another layer. Okay. And I like to use stains. So if you have wood stains in a little bit darker color, this one we're going to use, this is a, a stained wax. So you could use this as your top coat. Take a little bit, uh, I've got you a little thing here folded up. Take this. Okay. There you go. Dig in. And I'm gonna have you just rub over the top of this lightly. Move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing there. And this is a little bit darker stain. Yeah, put it on too heavy. Oops, and then sorry. come back, oh, it's all right. 
So there you can play no around with different, there are no <laughs> mistakes. But then you can see, I'm gonna um, take this one, and then you'll quickly kind of rub that back. And you can see but even more But do you more see how that that's texture. picking up, yep. yeah, picking up all the outlines and so forth on that? It's, these are so much fun <laughs> to play around with. And once you get started in experimenting with all of those different layers, you're really going to come up with some interesting combinations. So if we're playing with colors and textures, how do we then take that to the next level of something we might want to hang on Well, you can. This one, this is kind of a fun little idea. This is great for kids, um, kind of a oh. paint by number. Kind of where singling you just out the different Single pieces. out the different, instead of having a coloring page that you're going to color on, just, uh, you know, play up all of those different like uh, fibers and strands that are on there and have the colors play you know the kids play with the different co not even just kids I love doing this I've done all kinds of these but um <laughs> adult coloring book and then you know play with a color palette maybe you just have mm -hmm. uh, two colors and then the different values in between or uh, a variety and then just start you know coloring in all it's very mindful a uh, great way to kind of just if you want to just chill out and meditate um, this it's just a fun you know come back in and create some neat designs yeah. with that you can also um, once I have, uh, I have one here that is, we'll start to sketch on it and then create, you know, different looks with, um, you can use all kinds of different, pre this one's just a start, this kind of putting a tree, tree. and we're going to do some other things, but you'll see how we paint on it and then you can sand, this is also, because it's a wood product, it's very durable and um, you can do lots of different mediums to it, so mm -hmm. it's great for mixed media, but you could use your pastel, your oil pastels, your pencils, your chalk, all kinds of different things on here and then sanding sand it. it, using your sanding block to, you know, as you're, as you're creating these layers, sand in between and that's going to give you even more depth and texture um, and more interest with whatever it is that you're putting on there. I love that and you've even shown how you can add other elements uh, to it as well so you can take your blank cav canvas and then add other things to it. When you're cutting, when you're cutting these down, it's a good idea to um, think. And if you want to have them framed out, okay. you can cut them to the size of some wooden frames that you already have, and then they'll secure right inside there. Easy way to frame Easy and peasy. finish off. I like some of them to have just a raw edge, and then we just use little scraps of leather, uh, leather bits off of old bags or belts and so forth, and they create nice little hangers um, on the top. It's very, like I'd mentioned, you can do all kinds of found objects and mixed media, and really start to put a lot of different things on there and mix in that natural. I love some of these, um, you know, they have that look of bamboo or grasses and all those different fibers in there and working that into whatever your design is. I so. love that you don't have to work very hard and you already have a beautiful piece of art and texture and color, but then of course you can always add to and it. And it's very, Let your creative run wild. very forgiving. And what um, I found too, when we do workshops and we're working with these types of materials with people, um, they're very, they're less intimidated. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they feel, and when they know they're kind of repurposing something, Something, they just they're a little more fearless which makes for a greater uh, art experience Absolutely. as well because they know oh I'm repurposing and if and we can just sand over it you can also continue to add to those fibers and layers by these are just you know adding doing a collage and start layering up different bits of paper and gluing that on there with your Maj Paz maybe a recipe or a, a piece of literature that you yeah love, and you can play you know those all those little enjoy. strands and sections those give you different sections to play off of so you can add your papers. You can also add um, different, you know, the vegetable oh. and produce bags. Sometimes yeah. those make for a great texture well, too. Texture. <laughs> so you can kind of layer that over the top. Um, different uh, pieces of fabric, some heavyweight fabric or canvas. You can mix that in with the wood. You know, just it's fun and to play around with things that you have lying around. Work with what you have, and that's where you really um, come up with some neat. Uh, discoveries. This is just the old, these are actually, you know, we have workshops and we're all wiping our hands and the baby wipes and all that kind of stuff. These are the leftover bits. We la laid them out, dried them out, and then they make a great uh, paper that. layer as it's well. Beautiful, so like a little quilt. Yeah. It's amazing. So let Very your imagination run wild with something that you can, can nail into reuse. it, wire into it, drill through it. It's a lot of fun and it's very economical. And if you have a friend who's a contractor or what have you, <laughs> lots of it goes in the dumpster. So grab it before it does. And you've got beautiful art panels to work with. I love it. All right. We're creating art, everybody. Yeah. And we're doing Beat it Beat the ourselves. winter blues. There you go. All right.